I think everyone done heard what I said about Ron thought, wow, if this guy becomes president, he's, he's, he's gonna completely kill that country. And he might kill him no matter what. Because um, the thing about this guy is um, he thinks we need an excuse to kill some people, like some of these bitch ass people. Like, you're, like we, we, need to, we need to reduce the Earth's population. Because there's a real problem with resources. That's why I get mad at Elon Musk, because maybe it's the lithium. I don't know what the, what the real problem is, but I know the planet can't take what we're doing to it. And then I go, well, we need to kill someone. Who am I gonna kill? All right, who's hateful? What's crazy though is I hear the Kenyans are hateful. And I'm like, all right, well, my favorite person's a Kenyan. Well, she's not my favorite, but she's one of them. Barack Obama's a Kenyan, and he's real sweet. And then I think about my friend from the Philippines that we ripped off real bad, because let's face it, um, some people get real confident in their shorts until they find out they'd lost so much freaking money for a lot of Asia because they have that personality. He's the smartest person I know. Trust me, he's hit so many jackpots. Uh, he knows what he's doing, he's an expert. All right, no, he's a little kid that is really sweet that got taught how to do math and congratulations to him because I'm telling you, if you have the data and you and you, and you you like you spend enough time trying to organize the model and, pra and, and like testing different models, I'm telling you, I, I'm confident I could, I could use machine learning to predict the stock market pretty well. Uh, and I, I might not even need it nowadays because of the things I know. So um, I, I would still use it. All I'm saying is, it's not about how how sweet you appear to be, and he is and he is still sweet. Um, but what it is about is about reality, and in reality, Iran, you know, they're like, well, Iran has now started being real nice to one another. They're all going, well, we don't want to actually kill all Jews. We just want to kill Israel. Okay, I don't give a fuck. You think I care about care about Israel? This isn't about Israel. This, I mean, I do care about Israel, like the actual Israel, but sometimes like I, when I hear about shit that happens to me, I go, they want to come after me? Do you, know how, do you have any idea how many people, do you have any idea how much money? Do you have any idea how I don't have to coordinate anything? I don't have to do anything. Like it's not my fault because it's not my fault. I don't even know who did it. And so like all I'm saying is like, mm, that's a really scary man to go after. That's a man that like will go to war with Iran, Russia, and the American executive branch at the exact same time and not be afraid. Because he knows one thing. Number one, he lives in the, in, in the United States where there's a constitution. And if there's anything I know is that the military defends the constitution in the United States of America, and no matter what you think about the military, like they, they do have a, they, some of them have a serious problem with me. You can't say that to Ron. Well, guess what? You think, you think I can back it up? You think it might be real nice not having to deal with those little bitches? Probably.